with us Mr. Hamza Arshiwala, he is the Managing Director of Stale Mac Limited from Mumbai. So let us ask about his company. Welcome Mr. Arshiwala. Thank you. Thank you. So what are your company do and what are your products? Uh, we are essentially involved in the power sector mm -hmm. uh, since the last about two decades. Mm -hmm. uh, we are essentially into three verticals in the power sector. Mm -hmm. A major vertical is the medium voltage switch gear, okay. which is essentially vacuum circuit breakers and panels. Uh, we are having a position of market leadership in air insulated switch gear. Uh, we have a pan India presence for these products. We supply to all the states of the country, uh, across the you know including the northeast where we have a presence, and uh, uh, we have a strong R and D background which is backing us to meet with the customer needs and applications okay. which is essentially a strength to you know meet with the growing needs of the country okay. besides medium voltage switch gear we are also involved in two critical uh, you know verticals uh, one is epc that's engineering procurement construction essentially projects there we are focusing on 66 kv and above projects substations lines and also opportunities for uh, you know uh, projects in the wind and in the uh, solar uh, segments of the power which is also the flavor of the day because uh, renewables is the way forward and uh, we are making a, a presence felt over there as well. The third vertical is what we call power IT and smart grid. Uh, you are aware that uh, there is a smart grid movement since the last few years. Essentially the smart grid is about uh, bringing cost effective, environmentally friendly and continuous power supply to the consumers and that is possible only by bringing IT and automation into the power sector. Yeah. So we've set up you know, uh, human resources and capabilities to meet with the growing requirements of uh, this need in the Indian environment. So this is the complete portfolio that you have as of now? Absolutely. As of now, these are the three verticals that we are involved in. But we are constantly growing, we are adding new and new technologies constantly. And that has been our strength, innovation and new technologies. Are you doing something on the IoT front as well? Uh, Internet of Things? Internet uh, of Things, uh, not really. Not really. So, uh, can you tell us in detail about the R&D thing in your company? Yeah, we have a very, very strong R&D. Uh, most of our products are developed by us in India itself. We have not major you know, technology partnerships with overseas companies. Uh, we consider Indian engineers uh, extremely capable to meet with the requirements of the Indian environment, electrical environment. And uh, for each of our verticals, which are we are strong in medium motor switch gear, this is essentially switch gear from 11 kV to 33 kV. We have a strong R&D department. The other vertical, uh, which is under the umbrella of the power of the of the smart grid, one of the products which is of essential uh, requirements in India is meters. You know, it's a it's, meters are essentially a cash box for every utility, and that's really a pressing need in the country. So we have a very strong R&D arm there as well, and also in our project business. You know, we add value not only by uh, doing the projects, but we also do a lot of engineering work there as well. You are essentially an Indian company. So are you getting any incentive from the government as well in make 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 in India thing? Well, the Make, of in Make in India is a very promising scheme by uh, the Narendra Modi government. Uh, it's very, very encouraging. It's uh, ensuring that a lot of attention, a lot of support and a lot of, uh, you know, resource is uh, given to Indian companies to meet with the uh, requirements uh, to meet with global challenges. So there are lots and lots of schemes available and uh, we are very motivated that this has come in place now and we are taking this forward in a big way. What are your expansion plan for the company? Uh, in the medium multi switch gear, you know, I, as I mentioned earlier, we have a pan India presence, so we are now going uh, overseas. We've started supplying our products to uh, you know the South Asian countries like Myanmar, uh, you know, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. And uh, now, we, because the Indian certification is acceptable in these countries, but now we are also going beyond these boundaries. We are going to the Middle East, we are going to Australia, we are going to Africa, South America as well. So we really want to make this made in India stamp across the globe. So you will make in India and then export to the world? To the world, that's right. Yeah. Do you have a plan to set up uh, your units overseas as well? Yes, we have uh, you know, already getting into associations in two countries. We are in advanced stage of that. One is Oman, which will take care of the Middle East markets. And the other is Australia. 
so largely those are to give uh, us information about the local requirements because our products are you know every product rather not only our products they have to be you know tweaked and improvised to meet with local application conditions and so we have to have some kind of you know setup over there in the form of marketing and in the form of application engineering so that uh, we can you know customize the products to meet with those with those uh, specific markets yeah. but largely the products will be all manufactured in india and they'll be only you know tweaked or improvised to local conditions in those outfits over there so how how do you sell sell the products means how, what is the network like uh, we have our own uh, sales force it's a fairly large sales force uh, they are spread across the country we have got regional offices across all the major cities to name a few in delhi in uh, bombay where we are based we have a, uh, we have a, we are basically a bombay based company uh, and so our corporate office is based there but we also have a separate regional office in bombay we also have an office in hyderabad in chennai we have set up a office also in guwahati to meet with the northeastern regions so we are completely and under these regional offices there are several branches and they are resident uh, representatives as well so we are very very well spread to support our sales uh, and marketing uh, network we also have an office team again they are set up across so we provide tremendous amount of service to our customers and training to our customers in application of products and this is really our usp we service all the other companies why the why the people or the your the customer will come to you to buy your products what is the specialty about that? uh a main i would say there are a few things the number one is that uh, we work very closely with the customer in his application so we actually visit our, our products are used in distribution networks you know across the country so they are fairly spread so we visit all the rural areas our application engineering team we understand the pain areas of the people over there and we help the customer site for right application this is then you know given to our design team who who actually manufacture and design i mean first design and then manufacture products which are completely suited to the individual needs of each state and each uh, you know application and each utility uh, besides this we have a very good service team the service team uh, ensures that uh, you know all the customer issues and with respect to you know using our product uh, you know application of our product you know training of our product to get people in the field in the remote areas is supported 24/7 so whenever and our products are used you know for this uh, the protection of all the lines lines and equipment so whenever there's a fault you know the circuit breaker is expected to you know trip the circuit that causes you know darkness uh, or you know lack of power and this is an essential need so restoration of power is a critical need so we we ensure that our service team backs uh, the utility uh, lines people so that power is restored as quickly as possible thank you very much thank you for talking to me Sanjeev Agarwal or uh, I am work with Stelmec Limited as GGM Sales and Marketing uh, this is 12 kV gas insulated switch gear a uh, product which is designed for uh, utility uh, and in industry customer requirement uh, this product is uh, basically using gas insulated technology for to have the better reliability and maintenance free feature and also at the same time to reduce the dimension comprehensively uh, we have designed this product to, to cater the needs of the uh, utility customers and industrial customers based in the cities so that they have the compact version with lesser maintenance and higher reliability uh, for example this product is uh, very uh, 500 mm width and compared to other panels is very compact and it reduces the flow footprint floor footprint to a great extent so that the customer has more mileage in terms of space and uh, can have the more feeders in the in their own substation in the same building in this uh, place we are uh, demonstrating the capabilities of our rf solution 
uh, RS solutions are generally available from many vendors uh, these days. So I'll just take a while to explain the peculiarities of this solution that we are uh, presenting here. We are presenting uh, the uh, the solution which is based on this uh, 802.15.4.g as well as uh, E which is the upcoming one. The upcoming version is yet to be launched by IEEE which will be coming towards the end of 2016 but we are already geared up for uh, launching uh, the solution based on that. The, the thing projected here is multiple meters which are communicating with one data concentrator. The data onwards from here is directly ported onto the server. <laughs> Out of some peculiarities, we are able to guarantee the SLA of 99% in the best of conditions and even higher. The Anything more than that becoming a hypothetical uh, case. So the, these are the peculiarities. We are the products under this solution we are displaying are single phase meters, three phase meters and street light controllers. So these cover mostly the measuring requirements and revenue requirements of the electricity domain as a whole. <coughs> uh, as we can see the, the, the wireless mesh in the, the demonstrated here is at most secure it provides AES 8128 uh, bit security embedded into the hardware itself. It is providing FSK as well as OFDM modulation wherein the most complex of mesh network of the products and a mesh on top of mesh which is of the data concentrators is also possible with uh, this solution. Besides, it can also be compatible to the present day version of walk by and drive by uh, situation of meter readings so while being launched at this present moment it will cover up the future requirements of uh, automatic meter reading as well as uh, automatic uh, this advanced metering initiatives one thing towards the business aspect of it this technology is coming in here from our global partners but this entire technology is being absorbed within the company and the entire development as well as projection of the solution and launch is being done within here uh, in a place about 40 kilometers away from Mumbai. So we are, we are supporting the, uh, the, we are not only supporting, we are even gaining advantage of the uh, state, uh, this central government's Make in India initiative.